What's up, my fellow YouTubers? So I figured I would do a blog on one of my favorite horror movies of all time, and I'm sure it's a lot of other people's favorite horror movies of all time, uh, Candyman. And the original um, had Cabrini Green, which got demolished in real life, and that's why a lot of people that lived in that area like to still watch it, because it's like it captures a moment in history and uh clive barker said during the filming they had to actually move or cut it short or uh, i don't know they're scared shitless because they were really getting shot at from there by uh gang members and which is understandable because i mean you're in a real scary place and uh that's what makes the thing scary is is in real life um and clive barker said this in interviews that the scariest places for him weren't haunted houses but they were like urban places and to this day that's still that's still true if you go to an urban place um it's got that like holy shit atmosphere like anything could happen at any time even though it hasn't but i'm sure in the past at certain times during during the night right like three o'clock in the morning something evil has happened here at some apartment with some mugging some stabbing some type of thing in, in that atmosphere kind of like is still there right like oh some, somebody died here because of this person or somebody met a brutal death because of that person and um it's about it, it also ties in with the slavery where you know the guy was wrong he was uh you know he had honey put on him he had the bees attacking him and because he ended up with a white girl and jumped to today, I guess, you know, it's similar today, you know, and he's, he's taken vengeance on people, but it's not really vengeance. He's, the legend is you summon him. So you, you actually, you decide, Hey, are you going to stand in front of the mirror and say his name five times, which I've never done in the real world. I don't know if anybody else has either. And then you see him with his hook, you know, and, uh, he, he just, he gets you right. But I think. 90% of the success wasn't just the story or where it was. It's Tony Todd. Uh, he just has that natural, scary thing about him. And then, you know, in the movie when he talks, he talks from way far away, but you hear him right near you, right? And it's like, wow, and he's going hell. And and uh, just like in the past, you know, it's, it's him kind of singling out a white girl, right, to... Uh, quote unquote terrorize but it's almost like a romantic type type of terrorize too he's attracted to her and he's seeing he's saying to her you know come see what i've done and he's basically getting her framed for stuff that he's doing so everybody thinks that she's the murderer and it's actually him doing it and he, she can't prove it and there's that creepy thing where she's in the hospital and he's like all of a sudden he appears on the floor and he, he's rising up and he's like here i am and it's uh it's one of the best horror classics. It's timeless. It's still the type that you watch it nowadays. And uh, I think they messed up with remaking the new Candyman. They should have still had Tony Todd doing it. Nothing against the newer guy that took over. But now we live in an age with modern day politics, right? And not that they weren't around back in the 90s. But like it's more nowadays in movies than it was back then. And... Tony Todd's voice appears at the end, very end, but it's not the same as actually having Tony Todd in it. And I think they could have done that. What, dye his hair? I'm sure he still looks young. And he even said in interviews, you know, I'm up for it if they want me. Um, nothing gets the newer guy, but I, I think they dropped the ball on the new candy, man. They should have had Tony Todd do it, and uh, it would have been a hell of a lot better. Um, the newer candy man i i watched it one time and then that was it that was good enough for me but th this one I, I will watch more than once right I, I watched already about at least five times right um and it's one of those things where if somebody's never seen it before you're like oh you gotta see this one right this is it. uh let me know in the comments what your favorite horror movie is this is like one of my top five i would say of all of them it's hard to pick just one but this is definitely one of my top five all right peace out my fellow you tubers.